know how I feel about that. I still don't know when we're going to figure out who the best character of the game is, especially when, like, patches come so frequently. But Joker's definitely a pretty good contestant for that. I don't think it's him, but, you know, I get I, it. I love uh, Oreo rocking the uh, Xerath tag. Or Xerath, I'm sorry. Shout out to our friend from Cincinnati. She didn't come out today. She also went on vacation with Jake, so they're both gone. Yep. Slide out of town. Shout out to you, Miss Emma. Either way, oh, nice down air in the back air. I, yeah, it's Oreo so free. Oh, Q, you are too much. Whoa, the disrespect mid game. I actually never, I didn't even catch that. All right, now we got Arson on deck, so Q's going to start playing a little bit slower, but that jab to back air is going to set him in a really rough situation to recover from. I feel like a lot of people are just like, oh, you know, Arson recovery, you can't do anything about it, but I, I think there's a lot you can still do. To my knowledge, Lifetime, Q has never beaten Oreo. So. I'm oh, sorry, he beat, he beat him once. He beat him. Q, Q yelled, I beat him once. I'm sorry, Q. No disrespect meant. No disrespect meant to Q at all. That's also a good thing to know that the comment the players can't hear us. So, oh, uh, yeah. If we man, say anything wrong, they will correct us. Man, Q is so good looking. What a great looking dude. I am. <laughs> you oh said God. I am. For I love the, this. For Q? the record, we provided headphones. Q, <laughs> yeah, they provided headphones. Q chose. It wouldn't mess up his man bun, maybe. You don't want to hurt the man bun. That's true. Never the man bun. So Q with that back here to get him off stage. Oh. Oh, that was such a smart encounter, but oh, Q was ready for punish. yet another punish great afterwards. Great punish there. And it's crazy because he was in the knockback from Rebel Guard and was just like, no, I'm still going to just. Actually, it's wild to even go for an aggressive option like that off stage as Krom in that, you know, weird moment. But Q went for it and he, it paid off. Yeah, Krom not known for a Good great off stage play. The up B leaves a little bit to be desired in terms of distance. Right. Granted, when he hits you, of course it hurts. Yes. You, know, you got to get back. Uh, Go Man, our local uh, PR'd Krom player, always says, getting hit by Krom's up B is a choice. <laughs> I, uh, I I think I'll have some words with him later. <laughs> Either way, um, Q is starting to just really try to outspace him, which is honestly the game plan here. Every arson move, not only is it, like super strong, but the range on is really good too. But, you know, playing the fire characters, you can kind of like combat that. And even throwing out those like low committal jabs is a really good way. Oh, oh nice up smash there to punish that jump off ledge. Yeah, great read. Look how much shield damage that did too. That hadn't been that much of a shield. It was already like half broken. Yeah, arson does such a good job of shield damage. One of uh, Joker's main strengths in arson is your shield is not safe. No, another great rebel guard. Oh, he mashed. No, he got an, he just ready for another one. Yeah, Oreo with a great job with these Rebel Guards off stage. Oh, the taunts! Yeah, taunt to taunt. And looking cool, Joker. <laughs> Admittedly, Joker is looking cool. He is looking cool. It's a nice trench coat. Oh, he's taunting him yes. back! Yes! There's so much personality between these two players. I love it. Like I said at the beginning, two of my favorite oh. Columbus players. Ah, yes. That was the so gun off stage. smart. Oreo shooting. That man says I'm at the range. I'm just going to throw out some shots right now. Again, as we all know, Krom, such an impressive character off stage, but boy, or on stage, but boy, you can do so much. Those guns are going to be a huge detriment to what he's trying to go for in this matchup. Because, I mean, even at any percent, at 2%, that could easily be a stop. Like, this is going to be rough. Another jab to another aerial. Yeah, Q's going to have to definitely figure out how to get around that on the recovery. Like, you know, like you said, Krom, not, not great off stage. He's gotten some edge guards this game, but... I'd like to see a little bit more out of him off stage. But here we are, evened up game one. Game one's so, so important. You know, you, had, you get the counter pick advantage. You get oh, even in a best of five. It's still you do not want to lose this game one. Right, exactly. He had the air dodge read right there, too. But I think he accidentally buffered an air, uh, an air dodge instead of, like, you know, getting the punish he really wanted. Ooh, great I feel like Rebel Guard probably guard. kill him, too, because of that second knockback. back. I really Once he gets Tezrakar now in uh, Arson, for sure, Whoa. that would kill off stage. Also, good respect from Q, recognizing that uh, Joker F-Tilt is so good on shield. He's like, I'm not even going to try to go for a punish. Tries to Tomahawk around it. So he definitely seems like he has a, he knows a lot about this matchup since, as you said, he plays a character. Something that I respect a lot is players who don't push advantages they don't have. Oh, nice forward smash. Just yeah. gets he the dash there. But yeah, I, something you see a lot is players, I think a big difference between mid-level and higher-level players is a lot of times mid-level players like to push advantages that aren't real. So in that, in that instance, if he had tried to punish that four tilt on shield probably would have been punished more for it oh yeah so he recognized my advantage isn't real i'm just gonna run away and reset neutral and that's a crazy thing like he ran in there right after like oreo whiff something and just hard died from arson f smash which again will kind of like always rip you. Oh, okay so um oreo won the first game he's actually switching to snake for I the one, yeah wanted snake on the triplat so this is the thing. Snake, of course, just like we saw in the previous match, crazy walls he can set up. He can really lock you out. But the Fire Emblem characters are just so fast and so oppressive, it is really, really hard to stop their advantage. I don't know how I feel about this counter pick. Yeah, Krom will have a bit of a hard time killing, but at the same time, like, I, I think he can get in in a way that, you know, Joker might have been better in this matchup. But he's also got some very unique gimps. Like, he might die right now, actually. Also, also Oreo's, Oreo's the one in uh, Winter's Side of Top 32. We're both sitting here on the, on the mic, so what yeah. do we know? Yeah, that's true. 
But uh, yeah, he got blown up really hard at the beginning of that match, and then as soon as he got him off stage, Nikita just like equalized everything, as it does. But it's especially uh, rough on Krom. Even if you don't get like the hard hit of Nikita, like it's just like soft, the angle is just something he just can't recover from. As, also, as a, same for Box also. If he taunts, Box will literally kill him at zero. As a Snake main Psy, uh, what, what does Snake do to keep Krom out in this matchup? Grenade and pray. Uh, as and you're pray. seeing, not a lot of grenade and a whole lot of damage. So it's one of those things where you have to like, uh, as I learned from my my roommate, if you throw a grenade up high, oh, smart oh, stuff. Misses the tech. Or Oreo definitely could have tech that there. Unfortunately, this is, you don't want to see those missed techs. Missed techs do in lives. Yeah, I, I love the chase down there. But uh, if you throw a grenade up high, like you just lob it backwards, it kind of like shuts out all of his air, like exactly like that. He can't do any aerial approaches or anything, and you just have to like just be patient on the ground. And Great can, spot dodge there. You can really, really get a lot of extra free damage. Whoa! That's gonna be no it. Way. Bruh. Like I said, Q, one of the swaggiest players. I love watching Q play, and that's that's why I'm so glad to have this event here in Columbus to show off some of that local talent that does not get to travel a ton. Yo, that was hype. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so smart, too, because, like, Snake, his recovery is really good, but if he goes anywhere other than high, like, you get those crazy punishes. And most people are like, oh, I'll just spare him again or do whatever, but Q was like, I'm going to end this right now. Yes, the Krom Ditto. This is what I wanted, the Krom Ditto. Oh, Lord. Krom Ditto may be my favorite Ditto in the whole game to watch. Krom Ditto is? I absolutely love this Ditto. Mm. It is so explosive. Characters will be dying at 10. They'll be dying at 100. Like, it is a nutty, nutty Ditto. Wow. Q is putting in a lot of work right now. He's really just trapping everything that Warrior wants to do. Oh, and the F-Smash punish, too? Baiting out the... Oh, is he going to counter? Okay. Smart stuff. Oreo knows that if he risked uh, recovering the ledge like that, uh, a counter could have potentially killed him, so he uses Air Dodge to make it back instead. It's really smart stuff. <gasps> That's exactly what I'm talking Perry about. Perry yeah. counter? Oh, no, he saved his jump. He saved I'm, his jump. Good stuff. I'm curious the Krom pick. Like, Oreo did really well game one with Joker, but it does not want Joker on the tripod, I guess. I think Oreo's like, look, if we got five games, we're going to go to five games, and you're going to see all five of my characters. What, the two, link, the two Link next, baby? We could. Who knows? I would live for the two Link next. I would be all about that. So Q is uh, committed to Krom, and he's doing really well with him. Yeah. Q got, you know, 62% of his first stock, but took such an early stock. Up he out of shield, 24% for free out of shield. That's honestly a very, very underrated underrated uh, option we talk about out of shield moves because it's so good. Something that I, I've noticed about Smash Ultimate players as a whole, they don't use up he out of shield as much as I thought they would. No, we really generally just kind of don't. But now, Krom, you should. You some characters should. are like, okay, yeah, Snake Cloud, up he out of shield. You know. I don't know what you're looking at. But like Krom, Samus, even Mario, uh, oh, the Belmonts, yeah. Donkey Kong to a lesser extent, a little slower there. So despite that explosive start, things have uh, been relatively even all over again. Oreo was able to shake off the way that first stock went down and just, you know, get his momentum back. Home. Oreo, not a player to get rattled. Um, he's been here before. He's played for so long, so much experience. He's been down in sets. He's been up in sets. He knows how to keep his composure and win. Okay, nice. So we're starting to see a lot more jab come up, and that, that's really the key thing. Like, not even necessarily, like, jab converting to anything, but just punishing how they react to jab is what's going to net you all this extra oh, damage. That's great, what from great weight from Oreo. Saving the second jump there to try to punish. Nice stuff. That's going to be it, though. Yeah. That's that's the thing that, like, I have, like, a personal beef with this character with. It's like, jab is just such a universally good... Look at this. Look at this pressure. Just jabbing shield, but eats a 17% of B for it. Yeah, and that shield is nearly broken. It's got to be extra careful now. Yeah, Q looking like an Eminem on that shield right now. But it yeah, does not matter as he is sitting with a nice full stock lead right now. Again, really just trapping him so hard with these jabs. And every time it whiffs, there's no punish. You really can't punish it. Nice. Uh, so we, oh, nice to cross That's up back go. here there. Is he now he has the opportunity to counter? <gasps> oh! Just perfectly, perfect spacing there from Q. Q might be a genius. All right, so we uh, have things evened up again, at least stock-wise. And presents, like... These characters are just both so explosive, it almost it almost doesn't matter because they can get so much like off any like kind of advantage state boost. <gasps> That's gonna that be it. Do it. That is a oh no! I he did not realize how get, much like sideways ability he had there. Also, again, he fails to get the punish on that um that up B. That definitely could have sealed him the game by now. If Q makes his comeback, it's gonna be yeah. really really rough for Oreo. Nice nice parry punish for Oreo there. It's so confusing seeing Oreo in the tag of one of the players, but it not being Oreo. I know, I know. It's so, it's so hard. All right, can Oreo finish this edge guard here? Just jumps back on stage. Oreo kind of let him back on stage there. Another counter? No, Ooh. this one doesn't work either. Oh, went right through the counter. Oh, that's going to be it. Ouch. Really nice. Waits out that counter, and just like that, Oreo has a 2-1 lead. After what looked like a really one-sided game for Q there, Oreo brought that all the way back. Yeah, he really did, because it started, it started off, like, brutal. 
Like you were literally, you were questioning why he went Krom, and a little bit, I kind of was too. But now he's got a good uh, lead. And the good thing about this is he plays so many characters at a strong level that. No. Whoa. Oh my goodness. You're right, maybe we're seeing five different characters from Oreo this year. He is set. really trying to flex. You know what it is? So he, he be on Twitter, right? And he sees all those Japanese people that get like, you know, second or third, and they have like 18 characters by their name. That's all he wants. It's true. I he think wants, that's what he, he wants. wants to be Zachary. Zachary he, he plays like Zachary. nine characters. You can't be Zachary. Well, you can be Zachary. It's working. You know, you're in top 32. I was gonna say top 32 winner side. Like he is, he's here for a reason. Right. Uh oh. You not get, don't go for the miss. Listen, Q's not about a missed that attack. Uh, I mean, listen, Ganon's scary. Send tweet. Like that's that's, <laughs> Sin -tweet. that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Ganon's scary. Oh, the <laughs> shield break. Oh. oh no. Boom! Get that man out of there. Oh. Oreo is laughing right now. Oh. They are having the time of their lives. His whole solar plexus just got evaporated. <gasps> is he dead for this? The dead. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This is a bloodbath. My God. Oreo says, "I am the king of evil." It has only been a minute. Jesus. He has that Triforce of Power on lock right now. I. And he's oh my oh. Q, what you got? Q, there, what you got has right there now? There's been a more deserved teabag of the day, though. Oh, okay. He missed. He isn't necessarily getting the tech reads from that, but he's getting everything else. Oh, another taunt? Oh my! He's gonna do every taunt he has. There it is. I called it. I knew it. I knew it. Doesn't even Does go the oh, oh Jesus! This is such a crazy turnaround. Q, like, where seems, you at? It seems so even. These first two. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Q. Q giving him the three stock. Oh. My goodness. Oh, that. Mm. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oreo that moving was on. Top 16 now, winner <sighs> side. That was nutty. What would you do? Would you have. Would you have oh, I'd be, I'd be done. Would you? <laughs> I'd be done. I'd be done. I'd, I'd DQ. I'd be, I'm gone. I'm going home. It said go. I'm driving, I'm driving home. Both the Ganondorf's feet were in his mouth as soon as it said go. Like, there, that was just ridiculous. That's one of those, like.